Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ten Baka was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. Hey gang, welcome back to Mafia 3. Okay, we're just here outside of, I think it's John Donovan's place, the CIA guy. Uh, our current, uh, our current objective is to uh, go to Delray Hollow, the, the way of flesh. Old time's sake, in spite of bad blood, maybe you and the Haitians can find common ground against Marcano, at least for the time being. Wait for the Haitians. If Donovan has shit laid out correctly, the Haitians should pass by here. All right. That's where we're going. We gotta turn the radio off. All right, let's go see about the. Uh, the Haitians. We have been blowing through missions like crazy. Um, I do imagine that's going to slow whoa, 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 whoa. down. Okay, sorry, I had something on my map. Oh, those are cops. Okay, I'm with you. Like, what's that blue thing on my map? That's Police. All right. What is all this? <laughs> Back vest. Huh. Okay. There's a tack vest here and also a medicine cabinet. All right. Well, we'll just we'll leave it for the moment. Maybe it's something we'll be able to pick up later. Um, get out of the car. All right, we're hanging out waiting for the Haitians. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. It still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Okay, they're here. Hey there, brown sugar. You sure looking sweet today. <laughs> Informants. Informants work in the criminal rackets around New Bordeaux. Find and interrogate them to learn about objectives associated with rackets. Uh, to interrogate the Haitian informant, isolate him through combat or stalking, then approach him to start the interrogation sequence. <laughs> About you taking apart piece by fucking piece. Okay. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn team. So true. Here it comes. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. This the dead street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? <laughs> Fight. Fighting for freedom. Who did? You're not allowed back here. Yet okay. Also get ready to bleed. Apparently, I. You can't fool me. I see you. You're nothing, my friend. Let's take these other guys out. Motherfucker disappeared. Where else would he be? You're not welcome here. Ah! Going for cover. Ah! 
God damn it! We lost him! Where that? No trace. Let's check in there. Alright, everybody just calm down. Please. Got the body here. out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Oh. Come and get me, cochon. Oh. He bleeds. Oh. Hey. That was rude. Mess you up now, buddy. How dare you? Give me your money. Thanks. Got some green thingies on the map. Let's go check it out. Uh. Oh, is it upstairs? What is that? Oh, right. I do this. Okay, I get a uh what is that? I don't know. Get some money though. Five hundred bucks. Wheat. Something downstairs. Get it. Mine, mine, mine. Yeah, another 500 bucks. Now we're talking. All right, cool. All right, I think we got everything. Let's go. Nobody sees anything here. We're all good. I'm just going to go get in my car. Let's see, okay, we're heading here. Uh, according to the snitch, this is where you'll find the leader of the Haitians. All right, lady, if you would. All right, let's head out. Go we'll talk to the leader of the Haitians. There's a bunch of stuff up in that building, but we'll leave it for right now. Talk to the leader of the Haitians. The game that I messed up at the beginning of the game. For messing with me. Now we're gonna work with them, apparently. Find a way inside.
Okay. I don't know if I really comprehend that quite what we're doing there, but search pierced heart. All right. And in here. Upstairs. Okay, we're going upstairs. Wait. All right. We're waiting. I'm a waiting. <laughs> hey, it's Cassandra. I know who that is. Coffee? A nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> What can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hit oh my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Ooh. Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucet. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs. You know, for old time's sake. Okay. So he dies. That's, that, that's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Okay. All right. There you go. Old time sake complete. Associate gained arms dealer. Buy weapons and equipment on the go. Associates. By recruiting Cassandra, you've gained access to her associate, the arms dealer. Nice. As you increase earn for your underbosses, they will give you access to the associates and upgrades to their services. Cool. The basic arms dealer has a mobile weapons and equipment store. You can view future upgrades in the items for the arms dealer in the assets menu under associates and upgrades. Associates and upgrade arms dealer. Assets menu. Okay. Proximity mines are now available from the arms dealer. Place proximity mines detonate when close to human or vehicle target. 
It plays a proximity mind, hold right button, then release to throw it. All right. 2K entitlement bonus. Thank you for linking to a 2K account. Enjoy the classical outfit and Ilduka handgun. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta let you guys know. Uh, to access your items, please call the arms dealer or head over to the safe house to access the wardrobe. Okay. Check out arms dealer. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna stay in the same outfit today. The um, I think it's called the combat outfit. Uh, oh, I can't check it right here. Sorry. Um, I think that's what it's called. Because um, I didn't really get to show it off last time too much. So we'll, we'll spend this episode in this outfit. Uh, we'll change it next time. Show me what you got. Jackie? What the hell? Why are you driving around in a truck? What happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we going to start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. Okay, firearms... And weapon upgrades. If it's got a trigger, it's in here. Oh, it's all military surplus. Honest. <laughs> okay, so view items. So we got shotguns, handguns, automatic weapons, rifles, special weapons. Okay, let's check out. Well, let's start with shotguns. Um, exterminator. Uh huh. Equipped for free. Good damage. Uh, the. Barker 390 Gator Skin. Got 11 of these things. Okay. Uh, and these are they're pretty spendy. This is what we've got equipped. I'm with you. This is we can equip for free. Um, so. Okay. This has a lot of damage, but it's really inaccurate. This is what we got. Let's uh, ref we refill the ammo. I guess we should. Okay, yeah, let's refill the ammo. Okay. Um, sure. What about handguns? What do we got? We got this equipped. It's terrible damage. Uh, okay, we spendy. Old Duca. Good for free. Ooh, nice damage. All right, let's equip this one. I like this better. Got better damage. Uh, locked. Bail was a favor from Vito. Okay. Handgun accuracy. Race Cassandra's earned 60,000 to gain this upgrade. 140,000. 220,000. Okay, okay, I'm with you. Automatic weapons. Um... Got the trench and a bunch of other stuff. This is way expensive. I've only got $1,000. Uh, okay. Uh, what are our upgrades here? Go check out our upgrades. Uh, accuracy, ammo, stability. Okay, yeah, yeah. A reload speed. Okay, cool. Rifles, special weapons. What kind of special weapons we got? These are all locked. Okay, there's no uh, upgrades to these. Hey, what else do you got? Equipment. Cocktails. Screaming Zimi. Alright. Vehicle modifications. Suspension upgrade. Alright. Supplies. Adrenaline shot. Tack vest. Alright. And Lincoln upgrades. Adrenaline storage. These are locked. Added equipment. Okay. I got to raise Vito's earned to 100,000. So apparently Vito's going to become a, a thing. Okay. All right. Cool. I think we're good here. Talk to the voice. The voice. Uh, hang on a second. So... Uh, prostitution. All right, what's all this now? Arms dealer, Sandra. What's this? Okay, 
Okay. Why is that flashing with an exclamation point? That's the Padre. Alright, where's my car? Okay, okay. Um, I guess what we'll do is head for this uh, this thing right here. Prostitution. Talk to the voice. Where's uh, Lincoln's car? This is not Lincoln's car. Alright, let's go talk to the voice. Wanting to hit the wrong button. Hello? Lincoln, you were sight for so eyes. What's up, my friend? Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned the head. Say you going out to burn us. <laughs> Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. <laughs> Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Okay, free the strung out girls. Talk to Sheila. Man, there's just a lot of... A lot of... This. Busting up rackets. Every racket's vulnerable. Hurt their ability to make money to force the racket boss to come deal with the damage you've done. Draw out Merle by damaging his prostitution racket in the hollow. The first step in doing that is to free the girls being held hostage at... Sets. All right. I hear you. Oh, I wanted to do that. Uh, free the strung out girls. Damage remaining fifteen thousand dollars. So that must be this. So this is the voice. Um. Okay. Let me just take a quick look. My kill list is not. Yeah, it has changed. There's a. Uh... <laughs> Dixie Mafia assholes, Delray Hollow. Let's check him out. Dixie Mafia. After Sammy's death, Georgie Marcano puts the Dixie Mafia in charge of the Hollow. Since then, those rednecks have been funneling drugs into the Hollow and trafficking black prostitutes out. Dossier prepared by Donovan John. The Dixie Mafia existed in some form since the Reconstruction when they used. Oh gosh, when they used to rob wagons and extort Confederate widows. Since then, they've flirted with nearly every criminal activity there is. Moonshine, guns, stolen property, you name it. About ten years ago, they appear on the Fed's radar after a series of black churches were bombed. No one was ever charged, but their bread and butter is organized crime. They're still not about to let a little thing like racial purity stop them from working with the Italian mob to build their rep and expand their reach. Uh, back in 65, when the Marcanos were trying to quell friction between the swamp people who made their moonshine and Roman the Butcher Barberi, Barbaria, who wanted a larger cut of the action. The Dixie Mafia stepped in and brokered a deal. Ever since, Sal turns to the Dixie Mafia when he needs muscle. After Sal and Georgie murder your family, they hand the hollow over to those goddamn rednecks. They're led by a dumbass named Richie, Richie Doucette. Analysis. They're hillbilly idiots, but they're smart enough to know that. If they fuck up, Sal will turn their assets into mulch. They'll do whatever it takes to keep the hollow. Alright. Uh... Criminal rackets. Hang on. Uh, smack prostitution. Uh, prostitution. Once the Dixie Mafia gets its claws in the hollow, they take over Perla's and turn it into a strip club that brutally exploits black women of the hollow. Merle Trigger Jackson, age 27. 
a sadist and a pimp. Merle uses his uses smack to keep his girls compliant. He takes pride in knowing that if rich white men want to experience exotic sex, they'll come to him first. All right. Well, there's a lot of um, like little sub menus to all this stuff. So we got Cassandra. Yeah. Okay. Let's check out Cassandra for a second. Head of the Haitian mob, Delray Hollow. Cassandra, age unknown, leader of the Haitian mob, which she runs out of voodoo shop in Delray Hollow. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, document prepared by Donovan John. I've got next to nothing on Cassandra, if that's even her real name. Once you made contact, I went to her shop and lifted her prints. Neither feds nor the lo local swinging dicks came back with a hit. As for that voodoo shop of hers, the property was last sold to a man named Kilmick Eugene Roberts back in 1905. How Cassandra ended up with it is anybody's guess. Now I know what... Now for what I do know. About 18 months ago, the pencil pushers in the bureau started keeping tabs on black militant group organizing the outer fringes of the hollow. The group's mainly comprised of displaced Haitian nationalists, along with any neighborhood folks who don't see eye to eye with Sammy. Eventually, they start targeting Sammy's businesses, which is where you come in. Tricky thing is that everyone, and I mean everyone, thought Baca was leading the Haitians. How does a woman build up a criminal organization out of thin air, all while keeping her identity completely hidden? Beats the hell out of me, but Cassandra did it. I have to guess I'd say her sincere belief in black liberation and voodoo played a role on it. Analysis. Tread carefully with this one, because if she thinks for even a minute that your agenda and hers don't match, she's coming after your ass. Okay, cool. Zero districts controlled. Brackets and intel. Okay, uh... So, steal guns from the Dixie Mafia and deliver them to Cassandra. Arms dealer. The government's not too partial to black folks owning guns, and they sure as hell don't want them owning gun shops. So, Jackie Devarney, DeVarney has been quietly running a mobile, a mobile weapon store out of the back of his truck. When you need guns or medical supplies out in the field, Jackie's the one to call. With additional ear earned from Cassandra, Jackie will offer more services. Clifton John Baptiste, aka the gunsmith, has been modifying and improving weapons for his clients for years. With all the guns flooding the criminal underworld in New Bordeaux, every would be gangster is looking for an edge, and gunsmith is just the man to give it to them. With additional earn for Cassandra, the gunsmith will offer more services. And the operator. One of Cassandra's secret weapons, Jennifer clicks Moran. Moran's position as an operator at the phone company means she can monitor and disrupt calls for you. By spreading the money around to her fellow operators, Jennifer has ears just about everywhere in New Bordeaux. With additional earn for Cassandra, Jennifer will offer more services. Damn. Okay. She's got all kinds of stuff. All right, cool. Uh, all right, yeah, let's stop working on that for right now. Uh, that's enough of the lore for the moment. Go ahead and uh, check out this deal with the... I'm going to take this car, apparently. Sorry, radio. We got to get off. Um, unfortunately, my car is blocking the road. Get out. <laughs> I like the I like the yellow one. Hang on. I'm gonna move this. I want the yellow car. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pardon me, dude. Let's go ahead and stand in the way. Okay. Fourth class. I like it. I just thought I'm on that. Oh, that's a wardrobe? Okay. It's Cassandra's place, right? Well, I guess we gotta go disrupt this guy's operation or some stuff. There's the van, again. Gets around. Uh, I don't think I need that. A lot of stuff in here. People upstairs. Medicine cabinet. All right. Talk to Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Hey. What? Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Slow-mo shooting. Slow-mo shooting is now available. Use slow-mo shooting while aiming to slow down time. Make headshots to extend the meter. 
Use slow motion sheeting when, when the meter is full. Hold left trigger and press Y. Left trigger and press Y. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a Varga sitting over here. Dude. Grab this. Noise. How do I check it out? Uh, damn it, I do that every time. Check out our collection. We got a new Vargas. Which was this one? Yeah, cool. This was the one we got before, yeah. Okay, so they're coming in on the front. I I'm with you. Alright. Um... There's money back here. Supposed to be quiet though. Okay, hang on. Can I let's zoom in on this? Okay, yeah, we got a medicine cabinet back here. We got a tack vest back here. I want that. I want that tack vest. How do I get it? Supposed to be being quiet. Go oh, shh. Everybody shh. I'm just gonna walk back here and snag this. Don't mind me. Uh huh. 500 bucks. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Prostitution. Prostitution. No, I'm doing nothing. Just relax. Everybody calm down. All good. My mistake. Yeah, your mistake. Just go ahead and calm your situation, dude. There's nothing nowhere. You see nothing. Got a gun. Now give me the old Duca back. Somebody's being all belligerent back here. Okay. Looks like everything's upstairs, so we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, we can't. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh. We gonna find you. Run that motherfucker out of here. <laughs> I found him. Come on. Take it a shot. All right. <laughs> God damn. Put that crap out. Money back here. Nice, nice. We were supposed to do this quiet, but this quiet is just not an option. Fuck is gonna make his work for him. Keep looking. You're here somewhere. I know it. On the bright side, I get to clean. Got to change bags. Tards? Just lost a man. Come on. Stick your face out of there. I'm done playing with this asshole. He's killing us. He is killing you. You are correct, sir. Okay. I think we're good. Thanks for the dollars. I done messed all you people up. Got past there. Keep crawling all over there. We way fucking high, sucker. Believe that. Um, come on, Clay. Huh. 
bunch of dead people. We done lost one. Yes, you did. we got around here. Only way we make it out of here is if we girls stick together. Just hang hang in there. We'll be home real soon. Oh. Okay. Now what is this thing? Oh that's upstairs. It's oh the tech vest is over here somewhere. I think. Is that what this is? Yeah. Some armor now. Now y'all are in trouble. Now how do I go upstairs? Oh, here we go. We got some goodies up here, apparently. One area down. Somebody's walking around. Money over here. Take it. One area down. Okay, there's the girls over there, I think. Head across this way. See, there's that thing, but now it says it's down. I don't really understand. Money over here. That's right! Messing y'all up! Get back here, apparently. See anybody? What is this thing that's downstairs? Oh, it's money. Okay, let's go get it. Uh, it's over here. Ah, there we go. I got money on the toilets, that's just weird. Okay, so nice job over there. Zoom in any further. Hmm. Something over there, but it's outside, so we'll deal with that later. Oh, oh, we got a guy. Hang on. Nice this guy. Job. Guy being all sneaky on me. How do I get to him? Got you. Good night. Alrighty. We good? I'd say we're pretty good. Okay. We weren't exactly quiet about this, but I have to admit. But I think we pretty much cleared it out. Uh, at least that side. Let's go do this side. You fitty. Alright, there's the girls. Be right with you, ladies. Stocking up on goodies. Grabbing some money. Looks like we pretty well cleared out of the hostels. And we're just cleaning them out. Uh oh. Nope, there's a guy behind me. Hang on. I gotta take this dude out. Oh, there's a Vargas painting up here. 
Halloween, motherfucker. You breathe your last. I don't think so, my friend. I don't think so. Okay. We're good here. Thanks for the money. There's a Vargas over here. Oh, look at this. $1,500. <laughs> oh, messing you up, my friend. Messing you up. Okay, we got a new collection. A new Vargas painting. Very nice. Very nice. Found any Playboys. Maybe they don't have them here. The brothel, you think they would have them here. Um. Okay. Hold up a minute. I don't know. Um, how do we get to the girls? Okay, I guess we have to go back over this way. Understand this. I'm pressing X. All right, I still don't think I really get that. <laughs> Just push the. Whoa! Hey! Cut that you crap out! Them. I did. You You're damn right. All of them. Well, I'm trying. Every last one. Get out of here now. Go go go! You're gonna have to go faster than that, man. Okay, what do we got here? Tell Charlie it's been a good week. Ronnie sold around five grand worth of shit and Gene bought, brought in around seven grand. That ought to get Richie off our asses. All right. Okay. How we doing? Maybe I'm sort of getting the hang of that. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank, thank you. No problem. Go on, go, 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 go. Um, anything in here that I need to look at? Ah, uh, drugs. Okay, let's do it again. She's just gonna run right out. Good for her. All right. I won't let this place break me down one day at a time, but no doubt I will see my family again. Yeah. Okay, we still need three grand. Uh, what are we doing now? Talk to Donovan. Can't do anything with that. Okay, are we done up here? I think. Uh, we're good, right? Feel like we did it? Really nothing else up here? The weapon storage. Don't really need that. Uh, can't get through that way, of course not. I think I got this place all locked up. That's a fire hazard. Somebody could, somebody could get killed. Can't be blocking the doors like that. Yeah, I think the upstairs is clear. Near as I can tell. There's that thing downstairs though.
there any way for me to get out to that back area? Oh crap. Am I hearing guys? I feel like I'm hearing guys. this is in here are oh one of these things okay we'll take it okay I guess we're done here Did I put away the gun somebody Fuck it, let's have some fun. Who's shooting at who? Hope this guy's a hostile. Guys done? It's for the cash. Hey, there's no need for that. What is this green thing on the board? Oh, is that a cop? Might be. Okay. I think we're done. Um, talk to Donovan. Damage remaining twenty nine hundred. All right. Well, that seemed to go okay. We took care of the girls, got them out of there. That'll cost them some money. You pick up two parking spaces, because, you know, who's going to stop me? Okay. something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. Okay. Uh, portable radio. Okay, cool. That Cassandra really buffaloed you, didn't she? Fucking lunatics. Every last one of them. Yeah, but I know who she is now. Sal's everything wrong with this little twisted corner of the country you have here. A grubby fuck who thinks he can buy a name for himself. Still in the process of setting up here. Goddamn Phoebe's already had half this town wired to hell. Okay. He's done. So... <laughs> This confuses the crap out of me. What? There's the... Something here. Is that pointing at him? I don't really understand what the green... I guess that's the CIA marker, isn't it? Okay. Um... Let me get out of here. Okay, let's go talk to the voice again. You've unlocked new outfit. Calling associates. You can now call associates by using the radio provided by Donovan. 
You no longer have to wait for the arms dealer to just show up. You can call him to deliver weapons and equipment as you need it. Nice. Call associates. Hold left button. Then select associates using the right stick. Hold left button. Uh, new outfit. You have unlocked new outfits of the safe house? Changing outfits? Yeah, okay. So, associate. Oh, okay. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Sounds good. We gotta go return to the, the guy. So. Whoops. Wrong button. Use your radio to call the arms dealer. Ah, okay. Damn it. Okay, fine. It wants me to do this. Could use some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Is that just said you might be calling? I'm happy to help, but I ain't running no charity either. Okay. Why don't we reload? I got a I got this uh you need? pistol. Excuse me, please. Show me what you got. Show okay. me what you got. Uh let's talk about fire uh my handgun and let's refill my ammo for 80 bucks. What do I have? Six thousand seven hundred and eighty three dollars. Okay. This is done. You know how to fight. Alright. Alright. We have um Like nearly six grand on us. We should probably go stash that. Okay, go head over here. Real quick. How we doing? Um, we'll probably go talk to the voice guy and then uh I'm not gonna shoot nobody. Be cool. How do I get in here again? Through the window? Through the door, maybe? You gotta go downstairs. To the, uh... Safe. Stash. Okay, cool. Now, can I access that without having to come all the way back to the safe or not? Probably not. I don't know. We'll find out together. Okay, uh, before we call it a day, we got to go talk to um, this guy. Uh, return to the voice. Alrighty. It's just over the bridge. Uh, excuse me, dude. Ah, dude. get out of the way. Bothering me. Look, that's the car that I left. Just sitting right there. Didn't despawn or anything. Nice. Oh, and there's another yellow car. <laughs> Hey, my friend. What you got Thank for me? You. you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn, if that place in the hellhole. Pains you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Yeah. Mello's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. Crack down and kill Dixie patrols. You'll need to do $2,900 worth of damage. Objectives panel. You now have multiple objectives available. Select objectives from the map or in the objective panel. View map, then view the objective panel with X. All right. I hear you. So you get the map and then objectives. Okay. So we're working on prostitution. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. We got a couple of things going here. That's cool. Kill, kill Merle's pimps. Risk, damage, reward, bonus. Uh, we got a other well, Cassandra. I was gonna say that's the third Street Saints symbol. Um, yeah. As much as I want to go do this, I think we're gonna call it uh, here. Um, yeah. Okay, so the kill list hasn't changed since we looked at uh, this guy, Dixie Mafia. Okay, cool. Uh, assets are the same. We talked. We already looked at uh, Cassandra. Let's take a look at the journal. We'll go to the archives. See, where did we leave off? Um, okay. Uh, so we did the... Okay, Donovan dropped me off over at Sammy's. He's with me all the way. Not that I expected otherwise. I never know John Donovan had turned down an opportunity to stir shit up. Okay, I think we already had that one. Uh, Cassandra introduced me to her arms dealer, Jackie DuVernay. Jackie used to own a gun shop in the hollow before the feds shut him down. They don't want colored folks buying and selling guns. DuVernay will sell me what I need out of the back of his van. This Cassandra got one over on me. Turns out she's been leading the Haitians all along. We've come to an agreement, though. I help her get control of the hollow, and she helps me go after Marcano. Can't say I trust her, but then again, not like I have a lot of other options. I acquired the Trench 19... 38 drum SMG, classic piece of hardware. The drum magazine means having enough ammo to clear out any hole, room, or wherever the hell the enemy's trying to hide. <laughs> okay. Same old bartender, Mr. Lavau, told me that Merle Jackson's turned Perlos into a strip club. That Merle runs a brutal forced prostitution business out of there. I'm going to see about freeing some of the girls he's kidnapped. Rescued the women Merle Jackson was holding prisoner over at Perlos. Those Dixie motherfuckers are going to pay for what they've done. Okay. Cool. That's the journal. Uh, so for collection today, we picked up a couple of Vargas paintings. Um, no, now they've now they've moved. Ah, I don't really understand this. Okay, but uh, we got this one. I guess it doesn't have a name, huh? And we got this one. Cool. Cool. All right. There you go. So that's it. Yep. Which puts us at 9% complete of the Vargas collections. Uh, and that's it. Okay, guys. Very, very nice. Uh, we are done here. So, um, like I thought, we slowed down today. Um, we did old time's sake. And we did a good chunk of prostitution. But that's about it. So, that's as far as we've gotten. Uh, but, you know, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I think we did a, a pretty decent job of getting through some, some stuff. So I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, guys, we are done here. So we will stop here and we will pick this back up in the next episode. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.